Hi, my name is Reggie Best and I'm the Chief Product Officer here at Lumetta. Lumetta actually provides network situational awareness software and services that enables our customers to identify network-based vulnerabilities on their infrastructure. Turns out that most enterprises don't have any idea about the, the totality of their network infrastructure. Whether they've got 10,000 IP addresses that they're managing, 100,000, a million IP addresses or more, typically there are gaps of 10 to 20 percent knowledge of their network infrastructure, things that they, they don't know about. So Lumetta has developed a five-step process for delivering what we call network situational awareness. And network situational awareness is the, the objective is to actually fill those gaps in knowledge about the network infrastructure that will help the organization to prevent data exfiltration uh, or breaches of, the, of their environment. So I'm going to walk through in this short video what those five steps are. First and foremost, organizations need to do a baselining of their address space. Um, organizations flex and change over time on some of these large networks that could be uh, a thousand changes a month of their network topology, their network uh, access control list and, and other information. It's very, very important to understand what the actual address space is that's in use by the organization and not uh, what the organization believes to be their, their infrastructure. Uh, that difference in knowledge between what they believe and might be tracking in spreadsheets or IP address management systems or in existing device vulnerability assessment tools and what is actually identified when we crawl the network, uh, look at route tables, listen to network updates and so forth can be quite huge. And that's where that gap begins with understanding the, the address space. Step number two you have to validate the edge of your infrastructure. Again, organizations are very dynamic. They're changing all the time. Um, you have organizations where a part of your infrastructure may be getting spun off as part of an M&A uh, transaction. You might be making a change to your infrastructure at the edge um, to allow a partner, and then um, when that relationship goes away, that connection remains. So validating the edge of the, the, your network to know the piece that you're managing versus the pieces that are the internet or that are part of a, uh, a different network infrastructure, very, very important to understand. After you've done steps one and two, you can then migrate to the third phase of the baselining, which is conducting a census of every IP responder that's in that infrastructure that you've now identified. You know your part of the, the infrastructure that you're managing, you know the totality of your address space, and now you have to uh, identify what are all of the devices, phones, computers, servers, cameras, other devices that are in that infrastructure so that you can then do a deeper dive assessment at step four of identifying those devices more specifically. Uh, what operating system is running on them? What's the hardware platform? Most vulnerability assessments start with, with step four, and they don't undergo this baselining activity, which is the starting point of that 10 to 20 percent gap in, in, in knowledge. At the ID identification device phase, um, you fingerprint those devices. In the Lumetta case, we're actually able to do that um, without an agent or client being installed on the devices. And we can give the organization a very holistic view of what is that device now and what operating system is running on it. And then last, you take the totality of the information from you know, the first four steps, uh, and in step five, you actually produce a, a view of the vulnerabilities or anomalies that exist on that network infrastructure. And that could be networks that are not responding, uh, networks that you think should be there that, 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 that aren't there, um, address space and networks that you have found that weren't uh, in your target list where you first started, uh, certificates that are expired, um, data leaks and leak paths between networks that should be segmented. So in totality, those five steps to network situational awareness uh, critically narrow that gap of knowledge 
that most organizations have in these large networks. Um, for more information, please visit lumeta.com, and thank you very much for listening to this video.